So as you can see, after I hit the frame with the wire wheel on my angle grinder, I took off all the paint, all the rust and scale. So we've got bare metal. It's real shiny. Almost ready to paint. I left a little bit of paint there in the floor pan because I'm going to be covering up doing something else there. I used this thing called a wire wheel and a wire cup. I got two wire wheels and two wire cups at Harbor Freight. Ten bucks. Pretty good deal. I polished up the torque converter driver with polishing compound and the driven unit, and I painted the driven unit with engine paint. So it's resistant to grease, oil, heat, and all that kind of stuff. I'm not completely finished with it, but I wanted to try mounting the engine that's going to be on there. I ran into an issue. It's too big, but I'm not going to be putting a smaller one on there. As you can see, the mounting plate it actually needs to be moved back in order to line up so the gas tank won't hit the frame. But if I do that, the driven unit is going to run into the frame right there. So I thought, well, I can get the seat, bend it forward, or cut it off, weld it, extend the frame. Uh, what am I going to do? So this is what I ended up deciding to do. This is my course of action. I'm going to take this engine mounting plate and uh, slide it backwards after I cut the welds. And then, in order to overcome this, I'm going to actually raise the engine up higher. How I'm going to accomplish that is by welding some bar stock onto this jack shaft mounting plate. So what this is going to do is move the engine up and back. So once I get that done, we'll make another little video and show you how I did it.